Hi there, Francisco here from Gulauncher.com. Today, we are going to learn how to create an online ordering for your restaurant using Barn2 plugins. If you are not aware no, or you haven't joined yet, you are welcome to join Gulauncher community. It's a WooCommerce focused community and we are around 300 members as of today. You can simply uh, head to Gulauncher.com, click there and join for free today while it lasts. <laughs> now let's go and dive deep in what we want to do. I want to show you first uh, how I have done this ordering and the whole site restaurant. So firstly, uh, you can see I have done this beautiful website, mostly at the beginning trying to get the feeling you know, of food, etc. So I picked Block C theme. Uh, they have this demo and then use this custom theme, it's a child theme from them, to have the restaurant order form. As you can see, we have different categories of food. We can see you know, like uh, each, uh, each, each food has its own images, descriptions, the price. You can simply click here to add the product. Then you can also decide which add-ons you can use. You, got, you have always the cart on your sidebar. So you know exactly what are you ordering. You have pizzas, drinks, sides, dishes, etc. As you can see, it's a very nice way for uh, ordering food. That's the goal of this video. There are a few options here, no? For instance, we can have uh, the pr my product, its future image. You have add-ons. Also, you can have at the end uh, delivery slots for the order. Then we can go to the checkout. Uh, you can see the breakdown here, then go through the checkout and done, right? But how do you do all this? That's that's the question. So we want to check that today. So let's start from scratch, okay? Now, <clears throat> I have prepared a site, a clean WordPress site, this one that we are going to use to for this project. So let me start from the beginning. I'll go to Appearance, Themes. Let's click Add New. I'm going to search for Bloxy then install. It's uh, on over internet, so it's not like crazy fast, but I don't think that it's that slow. Then they suggest to install the companion plugin. Let's go for it. And done. You can skip this opt-in on Freemius. Yes, I hate Freemius. Skip. And then uh, we can go to the second tab of the Bloxy settings that it says started sites. And here is our recipe sites. This one, tasty. Uh, they have for Gutenberg and Brissy. Today we are using Gutenberg. Let's click import, install, install this child theme. Of course, I want to do that with Gutenberg, exactly. They are using uh, WP Stakeable. Uh, these are Gutenberg blocks, WP Stakeable. It's beautiful. For me right now, still has the best Gutenberg blocks. Then a few additional plugins required. Then it says, this option will remove the previous imported content and will perform a fresh and clean install. In case that we have been playing around with other starter sites, this will clean up everything, okay? Let's click install. It takes a few minutes, not sure if a minute, but a minute at least. What we what we can do in the meantime is re review what are we going to use today. First, <clears throat> we have the Barn2 uh, plugin for uh, WooCommerce food ordering. They said, made easy. But it's true, it's really easy using this plugin, okay? They have a demo, you can check as well. The demo, of course, is already set up, so you, you cannot learn the step-by-step, -step, but of course, they have a demo. Uh, let's check a few features, you No, know, like you can see they have one column for ordering, each product pops you know, in a model. You can also have two columns, one column, three columns. You can have the sidebar or not. You can use the WooCommerce product add-ons. Uh, and then, of course, a, a bit of social proof. Uh, these plugins are always loaded with a ton of documentation, so you really get support you know, and, uh, and guidance to get stuff done. Let's check this uh, started site. Site imported successfully. Let's have a look. There you go. So now we have the same demo that I showed you before, but there is no order, right? Now, what we have done, uh, firstly, is a uh, set up your products. What do you want to sell you now uh, in the store? So to do that, you have to install WooCommerce. WooLogins, add new. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick search, WooCommerce, and then you install WooCommerce. 
and then you can play around. Then let's go back to my fully ready site to save some time. And let's check the backend, no, the dashboard. So in the plugins, we have installed WooCommerce, of course. Then we have uh, uh, installed the WooCommerce product add-ons. I'm going to deactivate because you, you want to understand you know, step by step what these plugins uh, do. And then I have installed this plugin, WooCommerce restaurant ordering from barn2. Now let me show you the settings. In the settings, honestly, there are not many. You have your license key, of course. Then you have to uh, select what will be your restaurant order page. By default, while you are installing the plugin, the plugin will create one page and place the shortcode for the form and the ordering form right there in that page. Then you can select all categories from food that you want to sell with this form. Okay, Automatically, all of them will be added. But in case that you have added later, no more categories, you need to go, go back here and save. Then we have a few options no, in regards to the styling. Let's go there. Now we have category pages uh, options. Show the order form on WooCommerce category pages. Maybe you want that. <clears throat> then order form options, show menu navigation bar, show category names, show category descriptions, show product images, show product descriptions. The layout, for this case, I have uh, chose two columns. Let's go back to the front end to remember this. This page has been created automatically while the plugin is installed. What I did, I just you know, use my menu and add the item here. <clears throat> As you can see, this uh, order form has two columns because in the layout, we have decided two columns. So let's go and change one column. Let me go down, save. <clears throat> let's check the front end. So you can see at least what are the options, right? But it's very long, maybe a waste of space. That's why I decided to go for two columns. Let me save again. Let's go to the front end, refresh, and we got two columns. So each product is using its feature image. Then, of course, you can set the price. It's a regular product. Let's check uh, now WooCommerce, all products. So you can see the setup of uh, one product, chocolate, uh, chocolate brownie sundae. Let's see. Name, description. You decide to which category it belongs and then price right a uh, future image and done so there is nothing special it's a regular product created with woocommerce now <clears throat> by default you don't have this card on the sidebar no in for this case it's like very helpful plus bloxy has a, a feature for sticky sidebar so for ordering is really like perfect <laughs> now how i did that let me go there. So what I did was use the customizer. Then I went to sidebar. I chose uh, the option type four that includes sidebar on the right. Then I scroll down and went to widgets. You have now my sidebar. And then you have the WooCommerce cart. No, is the cart. So what you can do is to show you you type cart and you get this widget. And that is what I have added here. And then, no, it's always sticky. What you can do also, <clears throat> I forgot to show you, is uh, in the sidebar, you have this one, sticky sidebar. So you need to turn this on if you want the cart to stay with you, no, and your customer is always there. It's really, really helpful, right? You can also decide the top position, you know, how far from the top bar it will be. So let's go there. Maybe that's enough. By default is uh, 50. I like 60, perfect. Then you can decide the behavior, entire sidebar, last widgets. For this case, we are only keeping the cart. That's the priority. So 
it doesn't affect much. And then publish, <clears throat> and you got the restaurant, restaurant order form with the card on the sidebar. Also, because in the plugin settings, we have selected the categories that we want to show in the form are all there. If you have many, you have you got this more to see side digits. Now, <clears throat> which, which options the plugin has for customers, for end users? Let's say be barbecue chicken, click this. And now as end user, no, we are going to see product image, title, information, and these are add-ons. No, like, okay, one more, five, hundred, uh, five, two more, 10. Then you decide how many, and then add to the cart. And then you get this notification, no? Like the product has added to the cart. Also, you can see it here. It's not a big problem, right? Also, there are uh, mine courses like pizza. No, you can add pizza. Then I think that we have the margarita. I'm trying to find one with a few options, okay? <clears throat> now, olives, let's open olives. Even uh, as a add-on, you can use fields to show additional information like calories. No, so a few people might be interested to, to learn more about the product. Now, let's go to the back end and check the plugins. <clears throat> uh, now, I'm going to turn on the plugin WooCommerce product add-ons. So let me open it here so you know what we are talking about. <clears throat> this one is product add-ons from the WooCommerce marketplace. It costs $49, but it's really powerful. It can help you with a uh, ratio, you know, ratio buttons or drop downs uh, for add-ons to your products. Okay, so let me turn that on, activate. Let me show you how they are using it here. So in the integrations of the product, for the pizza margarita, for instance, you can see what is the base. Okay, traditional. And then extra toppings, double cheese and chicken. So this is the best way to use the product add-ons plugins for food ordering. No, and then add. This is the, the best uh, integration. And bar two plugins, this ordering plugin integrates perfectly no, uh, with the products add-ons. Now, there is one more trick that you can do uh, that uh, you can set also uh, on kind of the schedule for your restaurant. Let me show you that. So uh, opening hours. If we click this one, then we can decide you know, during which times your restaurant is going to be open. Most of the restaurants start uh, midday or 11 a.m. and closed maybe 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Let's say 9 p.m. And then you can also do the same for the rest. And that will prevent orders done you know, on, on times where your, food, your people are not able to, to attend, no, or to, to, to receive orders. Then save changes. Uh, and, and if someone wants to order something during the time, it will allow them or disallow them, right? Let's say uh, we have done the, the setup of the of opening hours, but we haven't done no uh, hours for Friday. So when I'm trying to buy, it says, sorry, the restaurant is now closed. So if I go back you know, and include uh, times for Friday, we are going to get that fixed. We should. So let me refresh now. Exactly. So there is no notice anymore and I can proceed with the checkout. So what you what we can do is also improve the speed, you know, the speed of the checkout. How can we do that? There is one uh, other plugin that can help us that is uh, named Fastcart. Uh, this one is trending. This one you know, uh, can help a lot to simplify the checkout process. I'm going to show you now how this can be combined with the restaurant ordering. 
let me go to my plugins and this one WooCommerce fast cart I'm going to activate so let me go to the order and now you can see a small cart here floating uh, and the number says eight let's have a look ah so it's showing you know, the how many products do we have and now we can review and have the checkout right away now we are seeing the cart but we can click checkout and we go to the checkout makes sense in that case no we have the cart on the sidebar and also this cart now there is one additional thing that we can do if you want where uh, in the fast cart plugin we can even get the checkout done in that overlay in that flyout allow cost allow, this uh, is one setting allow fast checkout allow customers to check out in the fast cart pop-up and then we can save let's refresh let me add one product uh, this is out of stock one bbq salad add now we can see the cart and now the difference is uh, if i click checkout it will allow me to do the checkout right here my name my address additional information order and then place order so that can really speed up things for your customers instead of reload page you know, every time they are moving forward in the process everything can happen right here even if they are not moving around your site always you have this cart if i go to home page for instance i still have in the cart so it's uh no easy uh, at hand yeah, to go and, and get the checkout done so <clears throat> today we have reviewed the restaurant order plugin from barn2 no like restaurant ordering uh, we also review that you no know, you can pick all the categories from your products your food add the, those here uh, also that you know, you can have uh, add-ons for the products using the WooCommerce products add-ons that is this one right you will find all links to all these plugins uh, in, in the description of this video of course and then we also uh, learned about FastCart right so we learn about the FastCart plugin and how the FastCart plugin can enhance the experience that your customers has during you know, the ordering so everything can be like kind of speed up. So let's say people come to you know, your order form and they, and they can do the whole process in one page. There is no jumps. There is no moving there, refresh, reload, nothing. Everything can be done right here. How cool is that? <laughs> Amazing, right? <clears throat> well, that's it. Uh, I want just to you know give a shout out to the Barn2 plugins team because uh, they provided uh, even all the products that contains the the add-ons and all the stuff already set up so i just simply import that in, into my demo and done if you remind the if you can, if you're reminded uh, we, ha we have used bloxy team as well and uh, no, this is one of the their starter sites uh beautiful for kind of food topic so you can always have a look you no know? if you have any questions just uh, let me know in the comments i'm happy to reply uh, if for any reason I'm not fully aware, I will check with the team and come back to you with an answer. Uh, that's it. Thank you for your time. See you in the next one.